and another spirally do. Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to stay. When I turn this. Oh gosh. Jesus. Oh, we'll be done with this quick. We'll just zip it up, zip it up, do right in there, close it up. Do you think I should just go find a guide and. I don't know. Never knowing it's really. When I turn this. Do you want to write all these down again? I guess. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. This is what the this is what the viewers came to see. Mm-hmm. This is for you. All five people that are gonna watch this. <laughs> to all fifty-three of our subscribers, we salute you. <laughs> Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. Never knowing it's really me who's doing the learning. We're learning that we're remembering the story. Our mother will teach you the art. See how round and smooth and empty it is? <laughs> it's my oh. egg. <laughs> it's my blue egg. And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body. Jesus. <laughs> then I'll put my new memories back in my body and no one will be able to stop. Oh, he's going to keep himself in stasis for however long it takes to learn the art. And then he's going to, he's like, I don't want to be a female. So wait a minute. <laughs> All he wants to do is learn how to write Dunny. Well, so books. He goes learn how to write age books. Convoluted. Rather than just trying to learn it himself from someone. No one will teach him because he's evil. Remember, Atrus is very well connected. Everyone would know that he's not to be trusted. See this globe? Do you see how rough and unround it is? <laughs> see how square and how hard the corners are? Okay. And then there's this thing. I'll kill them as soon as I know. That thing? Okay. Of course I'll kill mom and dad for no reason. Of course I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. Okay. No, you fool! My performance was perfect! I mean, I get the order, but how do you, like, how did we, if we wouldn't have started at the chessboard. They're kind of related. So, see this globe is probably referring to the egg, right? Right. This starts with, see this globe? See how round and empty it is? That's probably the first two. I'll call this egg, because I refuse to call it a globe. Uh... Turn this switch, the chair will act. Okay, I'll turn the switch, the chair will activate, the lights will go on. So everything, everything goes Everything that's you will be sucked out, leaving the perfect disguise for me. Okay, and then, this is chair, and then the book is Mother and Father will teach you the art, never realizing that it's me. Oh, this it's harder not to mess things up. This is going to be more difficult. Yeah, because there's only four There's options. only four instead of five. Oh, no. Oh, no! I, I'm, I'm taking a calculated risk. <laughs> what, why is that funny? Because... You think this show is a joke? You're <laughs> is this joke? Is this show a joke to you? I would love to see your calculations for this risk. <laughs> I'm betting that it's easier to get that thing isolated by itself than it is to pile up these weird stacks of stuff. So ruining that one is going to be easier to fix later than preserving it and trying to work just in these three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should have got Philip Glass to orchestrate this realm's music. Should've got Peter Gabriel to orchestrate this realm's. Do 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 boom boom. This is I wonder if they even need to be in the right order. On oh. the You think maybe 
Uh, it does read them top to bottom. Yes. I said it, it seems like they do. Probably. What if you could rewrite history by ordering the memories the way you want them to be? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so they'll Says, probably do that in the sixth mist game. <laughs> As you I, float oh around God, in a jello of lights, I don't even. How am I supposed to do this? Stupid icons. This around. is a nightmare. Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? Why would it do this? Stop. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm having fun because I'm not doing this. It's fun. Oh, so then our viewers are having a great time because yeah. they're also not doing yeah. this. <laughs> it's like the Tower of Hanoi, except I hate <laughs> this Ubisoft. <laughs> now it's going to get interesting. You got it, right? Yeah, but I don't know what we're going to do for this bad boy. This is going to be bonkers. Okay, well, uh, it might just work out accidentally. Um, nope. I need to get this blue one on here next. What a cra- I hate these kinds of puzzles. I- They're not even puzzles, they're I, just- Oh boy. This is like one of those Rubik's Cube things where if you go straight for the solution, you mm -hmm. it just undoes it. Oh no. I don't even know how well, a guide could... Well, I want to stay off could... this chair for sure. We're definitely not messing that one up. I don't even know how a guide could help you with this. If I just shuffle back and forth between these forever, will it eventually shuffle into the right order? It's like the... This is what this realm is all about. Constantly going back and forth over and over again in weird patterns. So oh, that, yeah, that's right. That's the what other... you had to do in the other yeah, stupid... Yeah, we just had to go over it obsessively over and over again. Uh, I also let you do that one. Yeah. Because I could not handle it. What do you need? Green? It looks like the blue, order yellow. does matter. If the green were on top and the yellow were on bottom, we'd be done right So now. you need green, blue, yellow. And now it's like, what the hell do I do? Well, I can break this one. And now I can get it on. Oh, of course. And maybe if I'm working with three instead of four, this is easier? Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's it. No, just move. No, I need this so that I can double it back, double it up. Get, now I still have the yellow, and I can wham it in there. Whammo! See this glow? Oh, jeez. Nice job, Jordan. See how annoying and <laughs> slow and frustrating it is? <laughs> Please let there not be another one of these. I think that's it. That better be it. And everything that's you will be sucked out of your body. Leaving behind the perfect disguise for me to step into. I don't know if I like the idea of Cirrus being like a cartoon villain. Father, Does that make father, sense? Mm. I guess they were always I mean, kind of... They've always kind of been that oh, way. You, you're right. From the very first game, yeah. they've been kind of larger than life, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, All right. I'll kill them as soon as I know how to write ages. Then I'll be able to tax all the subjects I want. Then I'll put my new memories back in my body, and no one will be able to stop me. Why Why even bother to go back to your Cirrus body? <laughs> the the reputation of that, yeah. yeah, the reputation of Cirrus has been ruined already. You could tax whoever you want as Isha. Yeah. And then people would be like, well, 
There goes another kid of Atris and Catherine. <laughs> you have done well. Uh, Cirrus got exploded by space lightning. <laughs> I guess we are judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> Get revelated, scumbags. <laughs> Strands of dream closing on him, and without a guide to shield him, he will be completely. Oh, oh boy. Wait. Just in case you had any. I didn't want you to leave you with any kind of suspicion that maybe you weren't a murderer. The next time you wish to travel in dream. I just wanted to make it really super duper clear that you definitely <laughs> killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to think that maybe he was, like, floating in dream or something. No, his mind is going to be completely crushed by the strands of dream. Having so, your mind torn apart is the most nightmarish death possible to your kind. So we can become Yisha now? <laughs> An end? Actually, Uru? Cirrus becoming Yisha is a great explanation for the, the evil of Uru. Can you act out of breath, but not actually <laughs> get out of breath before we turn the cameras on? <laughs> we saved Yisha. <laughs> I've smoked for 40 years in Haven. That's why I don't, can't Surprise. take deep breaths. Smoking that monkey dung <laughs> really messes with you. ...into the shrine. Otherwise it wouldn't have worked. Did you get lifestone cancer? <laughs> Do that it was to break the glass. Uh huh. Contain the guests. Oh, my liver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why he's actually out of breath. Cause he's cause he's dying. Cursed. I made it kind of lethal. <laughs> so he broke that glass that was surrounding that little yeah. flower thing. Yeah. All the things I did. It's okay. Cyrus is dead. <laughs> your brother's dead. It's fine. Welcome don't, back. Don't worry. We murdered your don't brother. Don't worry. That guy who kidnapped you, he's totally murdered. He's super duper dead. Everything's going to be fine. His mind exploded. Pardon me. I'm going to die in front of you now. That seems like the least traumatic thing for a little girl. I'm going to die in your lap, literally. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dying in front of you now, and in your life. <laughs> right to the end, Akinar didn't know how to act like a civilized human being. <laughs> Atris, good news! A non-zero number of your children are alive. <laughs> For killing my son. Yes, you are always thanking me. He just admitted. Yeah. Oh, he finally admitted. She's not as strong as you think. <laughs> Wait till that little mind breaks. She, she, yeah, she definitely won't end up weird because of this whole brothers <laughs> dying on the same day thing. Very much. I've got a big booger and I don't want to pick it in front of you. Oh, my face itches. I just want to pick it. <laughs> as if a door inside me is closed despite everything I'd done to keep it open. Goodbye, old friend. I'm never coming back. I'm so <laughs> done with you. That's good. My sons may be gone, but my daughter is safe. Yeah, until missed five, I bet. <laughs> All the love and attention she need to move on with her life. Just as we must move on with ours. Irish? Yeah, did, did you turn quickly, Irish there? <laughs> real quickly abandons two and sons. Just another form of beginning. Two I adult guess. sons. And the harder an end is to face, the more hope we bring with us to the next beginning. You know, you're going to throw their pictures I, in I, the fire? I feel like maybe you should get rid of the picture of Cirrus <laughs> after he tried to murder Yisha. Bink video. 
Wow. So what did we learn in Mist 4? Atris couldn't murder his sons himself, so he had to call on his old friend to come murder his sons for him. It's like, who is the most indestructible, unstoppable machine of a man that I know? We're like the Terminator. Yeah, it's like, wait, I did dunk someone into an interdimensional portal once and he showed up on my (laughs) home in Tamana. He's unstoppable. I'll ask him to deal with it. Oh, it's the beat. It's the Gabriel song. Oh, yeah. It's the Pete Gabe song. Ah, uh, well, Cirrus and Akinar are dead. Super dead. They're not trapped anymore. They're dead. Definitely ultra Really dead. dead. Really dead. We thought they were dead in mist. I thought they were dead in mist. We- I thought we blew them up. I thought they just had their the the window blown up, you know. But this is like the spirit guide explicitly told us that Sirius's brain is being exploded by space lightning. This guy sounds and, a little bit like Sting. And we watched. <laughs> sounds kind of like Peter Gabriel. <laughs> and Maybe we, Sting sounds like Peter Gabriel. We exploded. Okay, so we, we saw Akinar die in front of us. They're really dead. For realsies. Except, so, so, Sears' body has just, like, been disconnected from his mind, and his body's just laying in that metal tube. I assume it's in stasis, and as long as we leave it on or don't take him out, it'll... Is he just, like, a vegetable in there with yeah, no mind? Yeah, So he's not really dead. He's a willing recipient of another memory. We could put our memories Whoa. in Cirrus's body, and then we would be the devious one. <laughs> Maybe that's what Mist 5 is all about. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Who's gonna clean all that body business up? What are they? What are they gonna do with Sirius's body? <laughs> dump it into the lake. <laughs> dump it in the ocean. In that sea, just like, well, this has n- this has no memories left. We're all about memories. Yeah, throw it in the lake. So that's why Yisha's so traumatized and weird. Spoiler alert, Yisha's in Mist 5 and she's weird. Aww. Yeah. Does she have face tattoos? I think so. Or I don't Mm. know if she's got them yet. It's been too long, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure Uru Yisha is in Mist 5. So we jump that far ahead in Mist 5? We jump far ahead, but I think we're still... Because Mist 5 came after Uru, right? Release-wise. Yeah. And we're still the same... We're still the same person as Mist 1 through 4. Are we the same? Will we ever be the same? Oh, that's deep, Justin, but you know what I meant. And <laughs> shut up. Uh, so it's not that far ahead. It's like human lifespan ahead. Okay. Right? It's, it's, so it's not all the way to modern day, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty far ahead. Like, but y- Yisha grows up. Post-Uru, if it, so it's not chronologically post-Uru. Right. Well, in real life it is, but in the narrative it's not. It's probably like Civil War times. So we've got to be getting pretty old. Yeah, well, we did Mist, and then this is set 20 years later, and then the, the Mist 5 is probably like 20 years after that or something. So, yeah. So we're like 60? Probably. We. I don't think we have to jump any chasms or anything. <laughs> so that's good. But 50 or 60, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, do you feel revelated? I've been revel revelated. I feel like I had bigger revelations in Uru than I had in Mist but, Four. But now you've you've the brothers. The bro- I mean I was more revelated by Peter Gabriel and that whole experience. Yeah. That's the ultimate revelation. It's like, okay, that, cool. Sirius and Akinar are finally dead like they should have been a long time ago. The the ultimate revelation is that listening to Peter Gabriel's music is better than playing Mist games. And we should just 
change our channel to that. We're just going to review Peter Gabriel music from now on. <laughs> music. Welcome review. to your new welcome to, channel. Welcome to Pear Pro Listening. <laughs> User testing, <laughs> they, those they, people failed. They found out if the users could work, and they did. <laughs> yep. These are users. These users are breathing. This game is awesome. <laughs> On cool. a scale of 1 to 10, how much of did you just use the game? <laughs> they said they used it. <laughs> Ship it. It's good. I got at least a 1 out of everyone. Yeah. Okay. Well, well thanks, bye, bye, everybody. Thanks for the revelation. <laughs>